Hello, it's Phil Thatch here, and today I'm going to show you some photographs I made with my Nikon Z6, the FTZ adapter, and the 200 to 500 f5.6. I really didn't expect to be using this lens for tennis, but when I assessed the situation at the venue, that's what I ended up shooting. So I'll show you the venue situation right now. Check this out. Okay, so here is the Third Street Bridge. It goes over the railroad tracks. And here's the tennis courts. I'm gonna go get the 200 to 500 because otherwise I'd have to shoot through a fence. And uh, Casey's <laughs> excited about the opportunity. But yeah, going to get the 200 to 500. Okay, so all of these photographs were made from that bridge, which is actually the Macaulay, Macaulay Avenue Bridge, not Third Street, like I said in that quick video. I actually made that little video just to show my buddy Ray where I was shooting this tennis from. I had told him I was gonna shoot tennis and uh, I didn't realize that you couldn't go inside the fenced in area and shooting through that chain link fence was gonna be tricky at best. I brought, uh, I had my 70 to 200 f2.8 with me, which is what I thought I would use for this tennis. I thought I'd be able to go inside and maybe stand mid court. That's just not the way it worked out. So, but I had been doing bird photography earlier in the day. So I had my 200 to 500 with me and my daughter and I walked around to that bridge and sure enough, I could see the court, but with the 200, it wasn't enough. So we went back and got the 500 and here are the results of that. Uh, for example, this shot right here was at 340 millimeters. I'm shooting, uh, it was overcast, which was nice. So I didn't have to worry about shadows and which direction the sun was coming from. Uh, but it continued to get darker throughout the day. So you'll see my ISO continuing continuing to go up. I started out at one eight hundredth of a second. I'm shooting all these wide open f5.6, um, but really I liked it at faster shutter speeds than this. But here's here's the first shot, and there is Sunshine. She is a tennis player at my daughter's school, and uh, she's my daughter's friend. So I've got a lot of pictures of Sunshine. This one's at 330 millimeters. I'm still at one eight hundredth of a second. Uh, I've only done tennis once before, and when I did it once before, it was just for like two minutes to get my boss's daughter uh, at a school where my daughter had a softball game that same day. So I don't have a whole lot of experience with it. Um, but it's it's kind of easy to shoot, you know. Some of the best shots are the serving shots, and they're easy because you know exactly when they're going to do it. Um, I like this shot. This one might be a little out of focus. Uh, and I was using dynamic area autofocus, the red one, uh, with the Z6. And it did well. You know, when when I had one out of focus, it's because I didn't have the, the red area on my subject. I, I don't want to blame that on the camera. Let's blame that on me. But shooting from from that bridge, it's a long way away, as, as you can see in that cell phone video that I made for my friend Ray. And of course, I just waited until the till the uh, till the players from my daughter's school were on the far side. You know, it's a tennis match; they switch in between games. So I just waited until they were on the far side, and and uh, and then I would photograph. I'd have to move up and down that bridge, and uh, but we made it work. I mean, these aren't the greatest tennis pictures ever. I would have. I would rather have been at a much lower angle, uh, but if I was at a lower angle, I'd have to be making pictures through the fence. And um, a lot of these I shot vertical, and the, you can tell the vertical ones because the the uh, I'm closer in terms of millimeters. This is 450, uh, so this was a vertical shot. Some of them look like they were vertical, but they're just cropped from horizontal. But this this series right here is definitely vertical. And that one's at 500 millimeters. Of course, she's on the farthest court to the left. Uh, so um, I would have had a horrible angle if I'd gone directly in front of her court because the bridge gets pretty tall right there. Sunshine was pretty much uh, right in front of me. And that's 500 millimeters there. So this is, that's definitely a vertical shot. So uh, I'd like to hear in the comments what 
lens you use for tennis? Do you shoot through a fence when you shoot tennis? Do you have access to uh, inside the fence when you do tennis? I certainly don't, at least not at this location. I may uh, do another tennis match, maybe at an away event, hopefully where I can do pictures from inside the fence. But so far, this is all I've had access to. Uh, ISO has crept up to 1600. Everything I'm shooting everything manual, but I've had to make adjustments because uh, the sun is starting to go down on this overcast day. I think I have 48 pictures and 23 are of sunshine, so uh, nearly half. But I try to get at least one of everybody from my daughter's school, even though I was really there mostly for sunshine. Now ISO is up to 2000. Still shooting at one one thousandth of a second. I think at one point I got up to one twelve fiftieth, and I would have liked to have shot at one two thousandth, but there just wasn't enough light uh, with a 5.6 aperture to get there. And I believe when I edited these, I think I bumped the exposure uh, by about a third of a stop to try to brighten them up a little bit. But I enjoy doing tennis. I, I, I uh, you know, other than having to stand beside a pretty busy Macaulay Avenue on that bridge, it was pretty good. Oh, I, uh, I used a monopod. Uh, not fully extended to the ground, but extended enough to, to where I could put the bottom of the monopod on the wall of that bridge to help kind of steady my shots. Um, so that's something to think about. I'm, I'm not sure. I wonder how many people have done tennis photography from that bridge. I, I may be the first one, or maybe it's common. Who knows? This is at 500 millimeters. And that's at 500 on the far end court. This is the second match that was at that court. And I think this next picture is the last one. Yeah, that's the last one. So, hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked it at all, please take a moment and click subscribe. I've got lots more content coming. I still have uh, soccer to shoot, both high school and uh, some uh, kind of lower level professional soccer is coming up uh, as the year progresses. So lots of stuff like that, and of course plenty of wildlife photography is coming, so hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.